So hi everybody. Today I am um, here to tell you something about one of my favorite moths. It is the garden tiger moth, Arctiacaia. And why do I love them so much? Well, it's because it was the first moth that I ever bred in my life when I started breeding insects. It's the first species I had success with when I was uh, about 16 years old and a teenager. And to this day I still love them for that reason. It's a strange moth. They uh, have a very variable growth speed. Which is uh, actually normal for tiger moths, uh, Arctidae. It's also a survival strategy. Because, um, you know, the variable growth speed... Um, sometimes in uh, you know when there's plenty of food the larva with the fastest growth speed will have the advantage but there will also be times of scarcity where no food is available and these times the larva with the slow growth speed who don't need a lot of food will actually be, uh, be better at survival so and i think it's also a mechanism to prevent uh, inbreeding but mainly it's a, it's a nice adaptation, it's the a strategy to uh, adapt to food scarcity. So some of these moths will actually be adults, while some of them will still be small larvae. All of these larvae have the same age, so this small one has the same age as these big ones. And that's interesting. As you can see one is already making a cocoon, or a pupa, in the corner. And one of their favorite things is uh, dandelion, dandelion leaves. I'll try and feed one. Let's see if they start feeding. Usually they start feeding right away, they're very hungry. Very voracious larvae they are. Let's see if this one finds the fresh leaf. Well, it's trying to climb up. These tiger moths are ground dwellers, so when you rear them they will always be at the bottom of the container and rarely sitting on top of leaves or twigs. They don't like uh, climbing. And when you look at their biology it makes sense. They are found in meadows and, uh, and uh, you know, grasslands where they feed on uh, herbs from the bottom like uh, dandelion also stinging nettle and other things looks like it found the dandelion yes it's feeding already see there it goes and one of the problems with rearing this moth is um, because the larvae they like to sit on the bottom and they feed on um, plants with very high water content, like dandelion. It means they will have uh, very wet feces. Very wet diary-like feces. I know it doesn't sound very nice, but it's not nice either. But uh, this can make them ill. So what they need is a lot of ventilation. So I don't put them in a normal plastic container. I'll show it in a few minutes. Let's see. They're already smelling the food. So what I do is I don't use closed plastic boxes, instead I put a mesh, you know, it's a transparent mesh on here. And this lid just has a hole on it and I just put it between this and ta-da, you have a very well ventilated container which doesn't stay wet for rearing the tiger moth. I'll show the adult pretty soon, thanks for watching.